There's a place that you've been brought into in your mind by another person, unwittingly and unknowingly, one that feels dark and impossible to escape, one that makes you feel like you've just entered the twilight zone. What's with the theatrics? Well, I use that opening to drive home the impact that emotional abuse can have on a person. And if you're in a relationship and you're unsure whether or not you're being emotionally abused and you have questions, then this video is for you. Make sure that you're reflecting on these questions. And if you feel like any of this resonates with you, go talk to a therapist as soon as you can. Nobody is deserving of this kind of nonsense. No. Don't go anywhere, okay? Stay put. You're gonna wanna know this stuff, all right? I'm gonna sound like a broken record throughout this whole video because I'm gonna tell you, you gotta pay attention, you gotta pay attention, you gotta pay attention, all right? Because not paying attention to these things is what's gonna leave you vulnerable and keep you suffering in a situation that you don't deserve. My name is Keisha Martin and I'm a licensed therapist and if you're new to the channel, hi and hola. On this channel, I do my very best to give you guys some educational information, concrete tools that you can use on self-improvement, all things. And at times, I do try to incorporate a little bit of humor in there. Even though a lot of what I address is a serious topic, humor can often help us digest the hard stuff a little bit better. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Right then, moving on. When you think about these things, you have to remember it's consistency over time. We're all guilty of bad behavior from time to time. Nobody's perfect, obviously, but we don't wanna make allowances for this kind of treatment. So just keep that in mind as you think about these things and you explore what I'm sharing with you. So let's get to it. This is a big one, all right? This is the one that can really make you feel like you're being sucked in the twilight zone. And that is making you feel crazy or doubt yourself. Do you second guess your feelings or your thoughts about yourself, your partner, or other people? An example of that could be like, does your partner contradict the positive things that someone says about you? Which would then cause you to question those positive traits, right? And so it's just mind trickery is what it is. And it's so not okay. So pay attention. Again, don't miss it. All right? Okay. Moving on. So another one to ask is, do you find yourself questioning whether or not you did or didn't do a thing? This could be something blatant, like putting your keys down, thinking that you put them there, and then going and noticing that they're not there anymore. And then your partner saying, oh, well, you didn't put them there. Okay, that's a form of gaslighting, right? So things like that can really mess with your mind and your perception and cause you a lot of self-doubts. So this is something you got to look out for. It could also be them saying that you said something that you know you didn't say. But when they say it with such conviction, you start to believe them. Yeah, it wears you down and so you begin to doubt things. You doubt your perception of things and you can just be really confused. Now this one might seem like a given, but if you have grown up with this kind of treatment, you may not know that it's not okay. But name calling, things like you're stupid or how could you be so dumb. Also name calling that have sexual connotations like you're a slut or a whore, etc. So, you know, that doesn't sound very good, right? All right, and so if that's something that you're experiencing, I encourage you to take note, okay? These are not things that you want to dismiss. Another one to ask is if the person does something pretty awful, treats you pretty crappy, apologizes profusely, and then expresses feelings of shame and guilt to the point in which you end up comforting them for their bad behavior. No es bueno. These are not good signs, all right? You have to protect yourself. Be honest with yourself as you reflect on these things. You don't have to protect that other person, okay? This is not all right, so keep that in mind, okay? This one's icky, okay? Ugh. Someone who groans, complains, ridicules you for when you're asking for emotional support. They might shame you or say, suck it up, or it's not that big a deal, or get over yourself, or what do you want from me now? Those are all things that someone might say if they're being emotionally abusive. Another thing to look out for to ask yourself is, do they ignore you when you try to have a conversation? They grunt or roll their eyes or just kind of show disdain for anything that you might want to discuss. Not a good sign, all right? 
Now, this is messing with your emotions, right? Because it's making you feel like what you have to say is important or you don't matter, all things. Not cool. Another question is, do you feel isolated? Do you feel like it's difficult for you to connect with other people, have support outside of your friend, partner, or whoever? Isolation can look like someone trying to intercept your phone calls or prevent you from seeing certain friends or family members. It could also look like someone trying to insert themselves into a conversation or to monopolize a conversation between you and someone else. Another sign of that could be a person becoming angry, jealous, frustrated, causing a fight when you have a social event or you're planning on going one or you've just returned home from one. And whether this is conscious or unconscious, it is something that can lead you to feeling isolated because you might avoid doing those things to appease that other person. Now I have many more for you, so stay put. All right, you're gonna wanna know these things. But before I go ahead and get to those, if you have a comment or if you have a question, you make sure you leave them down for me, all right? Okay then, moving on. Another question you can ask yourself is, do you feel uneasy having your friends and family around your partner? Or if it's a friend, do you feel uneasy having that friend around other people? Perhaps you find yourself really tense in those situations. And so that's something that can be helpful for you to ask yourself to identify whether or not you're feeling isolated. Additionally, you can ask yourself if you feel comfortable being able to go with your friends or family and if you might be running a little bit late, it's not an issue. But if it's the flip side of things and you're feeling really nervous and frightened about how the person's gonna respond when you're home a little bit late, that could be an indication of attempts to isolate you. All right, so the next big question you can ask yourself is do you feel humiliated or degraded? Does your partner, or friend, or family member tend to insult you or insult people like you? As you can imagine, that would make you feel pretty crappy, right? And over time, that can just kind of erode your confidence and how you feel about yourself. So that's definitely something you wanna ask yourself. Also, do you feel ridiculed for the traits that you might be proud of or that you admire in other people? That could be another way of framing that question to decide whether or not this is a healthy situation or not. Something else that can make you feel humiliated or degraded is feeling like your partner is forcing you to do something that you're not comfortable with doing and then that person made you feel guilty or ashamed of it. Another one to look out for is if you feel like you're all consumed by this person. Your thoughts are just completely and totally about them. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What can I do? You're avoiding and walking on eggshells because you don't want to upset them or you're trying to prevent them from withdrawing from you. So you're trying to anticipate constantly what that person's thinking or feeling. Also, you might ask if you're feeling overpowered by that person's presence. Like maybe you just shrink inward, you avoid speaking, making eye contact with that person or even other people. And basically you just feel like you can't be yourself. Which brings me to another piece of that, which is you question who you are. You might feel like you've lost yourself because your worth and sense of self has become dependent upon this person. So pay attention, okay? Right then. Another one to look out for is if you feel like you have to ask permission for things. Little things, big things, doesn't matter. You feel like you have to get that person's okay before you make a decision. All right, it's not about you having a conversation about it and coming to an agreement together. It's about, okay, this is something that I think I might need or want or whatever the case may be. And you can't make that decision independently of that person because that person might become angry, all the things. And so you feel basically just really tense and scared and that you have to ask that person and get their okay. And nobody needs to feel that way, all right? Now. I'm gonna have much more for you in a later video. I'm sure you're gonna find it helpful if you're feeling all things, all right? So now I'm gonna leave down in the description some information that might be helpful for you. And if you haven't already done so, be sure you go back and check out the most recent videos I posted on toxic people and codependents. I could probably give you a lot more insight into what you might be going through. So if you're recognizing that this is what's happening, you gotta take care of yourself, okay? Nobody's gonna do it for you. And if you're concerned about a family member or a friend and you're seeing or observing these kinds of things, just offer them support. Let them know that you're there, okay? You can't rescue someone. All you can do is be there for them and encourage them to seek help. So just keep that in mind. And
And until next time, be well, be strong, and be love.